What's up, YouTube? It's your boy JP's on the keys, and it's too easy to video today. We got Rising Damp. I know I haven't done Rising Damp in over a month. I apologize. I'm sorry. We back. You know what I'm saying? I noticed some comments about it's like an echo. Like, my thing is, like, the way it is, I, my setup is, I have two really big speakers right here. And, like, the, my mic is extremely sensitive. And my mic picks up everything. My mic picks up the fact that my laptop sounds like an airplane because I literally use it for everything. My laptop is just is running really fast. It picks up whatever sound, you know what I'm saying? So if it's like a sound clash and echo, I apologize. That's why I try to turn the video down just kind of a little bit so it's not as much sound going into the mic so it don't echo. You know what I mean? But without further ado, rise the damp. And also, I'm working on, uh, I'm making good progress on the Ted Bundy History's Biggest Villains. I'm making progress on that. Um, I also thought about doing one on Jimmy Savile. Like I seen the doc, I seen the Netflix doc. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to take from there, but I'm just going to do my own independent, like little research, getting facts. But yeah, but I definitely think Jimmy Savile deserves one as well. Nasty. <laughs> I've got a complaint. I'm not surprised you should eat more fresh vegetables. <laughs> now, it's about Seymour. He's monopolising the bathroom again. No, he's not. Look, he's been in there for hours. Look, look, you can't expect him to dash in and out, not Seymour. But he's in there reading a the paper. I can hear him turning the pages. Oh, yeah. He's probably studying the financial section. He's thinking of getting out the guilt edge. That is thinking of getting out of somewhere. But you get out of the bathroom. This, this, he's not like... Oh, these are the apartments that had like the communal bathrooms, like a college dorm where it's like one bathroom on the whole dorm for everybody. Right, that's gotta be, that's gotta suck. Here, you know. <laughs> got a lot on his mind, as a matter of fact, he's very concerned about his Krugerrands. He's not looking at him in there, is he? <laughs> hey, does he want a medical opinion? Medical? Don't you know what Krugerrands are? Of course I know what they are. I know he hadn't got any. He had to borrow 10p for the gas. <laughs> My God. Uh, hasn't taken long, has it, eh? What do you mean? Hasn't taken long for you to show your resentment. Just because he's had a public school education, eh? Just because he's a gentleman. A gentleman? Yes, yes. As I knew that word would stick in your throat. Yes, a gentleman. He's got reading. Says our cocker spaniel rigs me, but we don't let it take over the bathroom. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, typical working class reaction, this. Hey, wait a minute. How do you know I ain't got reading? <laughs> you, you haven't got breathing. Why not? Because you suffer from one great disadvantage, that's why. What's that? You're common. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not common. What makes you think I'm common? You eat with your mouth open. <laughs> Everybody eats with their mouth open, Rigsby. What do you expect me to do? Stuff it in my ear? <laughs> but all I'm saying is, once it's in, that's the last we should see of it. Huh? But not with you, though. You're like one of those things on the back of a dust cart, your teeth rotate. <laughs> Charming, that is. How long have you been watching me like that? Hey, you see, these little things that give you away in civilized society. That and smother everything in tomato sauce. Yes, I can just imagine you at the high table shouting for the sauce button and wiping your butter knife on the table. <laughs> I don't wipe your butter knife on the table. You wouldn't even know which way to pass the port. Assuming you ever let go of it, of course. <laughs> well, me, of course, I made a study of these things. Oh, of course, you've got breathing, haven't you, Rigby? Uh, you've noticed, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's not generally known, this, so keep it to yourself. But. My grandfather was a bastard. <laughs> <laughs> what, you mean he was cruel to you? No, 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 no. He was a real bastard. <laughs> he was the... Uh... You just call his granddad a bastard, bro? <laughs> so, keep it to yourself, but uh, my grandfather was a bastard. You just call his granddad a bastard? <laughs> what, you mean he was cruel to you? No, 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 no. He was a real bastard. <laughs> he was the... Uh... He was the natural son of, uh, yeah, of someone. <laughs> Who? Oh, no, I can't tell you that. Suffice it to say I'm related to one of the most powerful families in the land. 
don't believe it. It's true. I lost it in Grandad. Got the horse and cart. Hush money. <laughs> oh, I should never want. Only got to turn up at the drawbridge. You'd recognise the family features. It'd be made. I bet you would. Yes, oh, you could. Oh, yes. Jealous just because I've got a dash of nobility in me. Well, how can you tell? It's in the blood. I've only got to hear the hunting horn. The ears go pricking me nostrils, twitching my way. <laughs> Sounds like you've got a dash of fox sound to me. Oh, yeah. Very funny. You could laugh. I've always known it was different. Someone set apart. It's the same when the royal coach goes by and she sees me. Our eyes meet and, and she waves just just that little bit long. But I can say she's thinking, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they doing what they're supposed to do. And speaking of that, hmm, how y'all feel about uh, what's what's the name, Prince Charles, becoming the new King of England? <laughs> Yo, all the memes I say to people make a fun of how swollen his hands are. <laughs> I said, do, do people wait in line? I saw a meme, somebody said, where it was like a procession and, and like he would come around and shake people's hands. And somebody said, they waiting all day to shake them sausage links. <laughs> I'm like, you're in y'all are so disrespectful. The internet is so funny when it comes to stuff like that. <laughs> but like, I mean, who's next? I think... Prince, Prince William is next in line after him, isn't it? The, the one that's the one that's married to um, Meghan Markle, isn't he next in line after Prince Charles passes away? I'm pretty sure. He's one of us. <laughs> <laughs> but you mean one of them? No, I don't. Uh, always felt at ease with the gentry. They usually take to me. It was the same with Seymour. We talk to each other at once. Yes, I'm glad he's coming here. Have some civilized conversation for a change. You're just hoping he'll get you into the golf club. <sighs> no, I'm not. Rigby, what are you going to do about Seymour? He's still in the bathroom. There's another one. And he's taken my soap again. The man's a scrounger. Not a scrounger. He came here at short notice. He just forgot to pack a few things, that's all. He won't hear anything against Seymour. He'll do anything for him. He's giving him special treatment. Are you accusing me of having favourites? I treat everyone exactly the same. Ah, there you Cap. Oh. <laughs> Have you finished the shoes yet? Uh, yes, yes, sir. <laughs> he was shining his shoes the whole time? Oh, nah, fam. <laughs> You've got a real shine on there. You think so? Thank you. Jolly nice of you. Not at all. Oh, Marby. Oh, Toto. I saw me. Dawa. just start trying to speak to him in a tribal dialect <laughs> wow that's crazy <laughs> that's crazy man I'm freaking weak off that yeah. Look at him. he's even cleaning his shoes for it now put it a bit of a shine on them that's all who should stop talking to me like that I can't understand a word he said <laughs> that's why you resent him isn't it because he was out there in Africa you owed him responsible for our colonial past well just you remember mate he got malaria working for your lot you try and make him feel at home what do you want me to do take his letters up in a cleft stick <laughs> oh, very funny. Yes, it was the time you were glad of blokes like Seymour. Yes, what happened when you wanted all the tigers killing? Who did you send for then, eh? We didn't send for anyone. We don't have tigers in Africa. Duh. Well, that's because of blokes like Seymour, isn't it? They're not in Africa, they're in India, you, <laughs> you, you idiot. <laughs> in the end, it's tigers are Asian, or it's or an Asian big cat, man. Come on, now. He protected you, didn't he? Yes. Seymour Buana and his stick that spoke thunder, yes. who represented the great white mother across the seas. Oh, yes, yes, who stopped your shrinking heads and eating each other, who sorted out all your little problems for you. My little problem at the moment is how to get back that five pounds I loaned him. He didn't borrow, he didn't borrow his money off you, has he? See, he's a con man. Not a con I, I, I can judge character, he's genuine. Well, why is he always short of money? That's because of your lot, bled him white, crippled him with death duties. Do you know, when he got back from Africa, his estate was in ruins. He had dry rot in the panel, in mop in the tapestry, and his motor run dry. <laughs> and where were all his faithful retainers, eh? I'll tell you. Clocking on at British Leyland. <laughs> That's why he had to get a job. What job? Well, well he is a financial consultant. Well, trust him with my finances. What finances? <laughs> Did he pay the rent yet, Rigsby? Um, no. I didn't think so. I thought you always asked for it in advance, Yes, well, this is different, isn't it? He won't wow. get it. Wow. Of course, I'm going to ask him. You well, you ask him, and he'll make some excuse about... Mislaying his checkbook. Absolutely. All right, we'll see about that. You wait here. I'll have a word with him. Go and get your rent, Rigsby. Go and get your rent. 
Oh, it's all right. If you go and I shall come back later to see more. It's all right. I'll try a boy. Come in. I look forward to our little chat. So do I, Seymour. So do I. Yeah, it's nice to, to feel, you know, if someone here I can talk to you, someone I can respect, you know, someone who'll, who'll pay his rent promptly. <laughs> That's just the way I feel. As soon as I saw you with me, I, I felt this rapport. I thought, there's a chap I could have a good yarn with. And I was right. Well, you know, I feel I can talk to you, Seymour. Can you always say? That's a damn nice thing to say. How would you? Oh, thank you very much, yes. Yes, I hope you don't think I'm someone who comes up here and just asks for the rent, you know. <laughs> Ask for the rent. <laughs> You don't seem like an ordinary landlord to me. They're usually mercenary, money grabbing types. You're, you're different. You've got style. Can't explain it. Something about it. Probably the way I hold my coffee cup, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Little things I'll have to give you away, isn't it? Yeah. But for an accident of birth, who knows? It might have been chums, eh, Seymour? Uh, I thought so. Yeah, it's about a shared up talk together, eh? Rags in the dorm, then after that Oxford, dreaming spies, punting on the ices, chatting up the birds from Lady Margaret, back to Bailey up, crumpets and plovers' eggs, eh? <laughs> but it wasn't to be, Richard. Ah, no, no, no. No, never got through the 11 plus. <laughs> <laughs> You know, Rigsby, you'll have to come down and spend the weekend with us sometime. But down at the manor? Oh, I should love that. You sure your lady wife wouldn't mind? Uh, of course not. We could put you in the Chinese room. The Chinese? Oh, in the four-poster? Oh, I should have to put the old cord back in the pyjamas now. I shouldn't say anything to them. I, I know they, they, they resent me. I wouldn't say that, Seymour. Philip's been giving me some very black looks. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you're giving me some very black looks. He couldn't give you anything else, mate, could he? <laughs> it hurts, Rigsby. I gave him the best years of my life. Twenty years I spent out there, and you know what thanks I got? The natives peed in the drinking water. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they didn't want you there. Not surprised. <laughs> Is there another one? The one with the long hair. Looks like a bloody red to me. You, you put your finger on it there. He won't be satisfied till we're all swinging from the nearest lamppost. Yeah. That's typical. Their answer to everything. Mindless violence. They should be stood up against the wall and shot. <laughs> well, I must be off. Yes, yes, sir. Where is it? Where is it this evening, then? Ah, uh, golf down. Golf. I yeah, thought yeah. I um, might pick up a few investors. Yeah, I've yeah. got some rather attractive stocks. <laughs> I, um, I suppose you've got your little pile, the safety investment, there is me. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. I thought so. Nice guy, Unilever, Shell. Um, no saving stamps, actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, we must have a little talk sometime. Uh, uh, do you play golf? Uh, uh, um, no, never quite got round to golf. Oh, you'll have to come out with me sometime. You'll soon pick it up. Uh, yes, I think I've got a feeling for the game. I did very well one year at the front at Skegness, but still got stuck in one of those little wooden windmills. Really? <laughs> <laughs> well, now. Um, I was like, oh, yes, I'm serious. Of course you want to. Uh, uh, Seymour, I hope, hope you don't mind me mentioning me the rent. You know. oh, no, of course not. I hope you don't mind. Uh, 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 you should have mentioned it before. I can uh, quickly slip my mind. No, sir, not at all. Ah, just a minute. Uh, I've left my checkbook at the office. Oh. Isn't that silly up there? Told you. See? Alan was right. He was capping about the rent. <laughs> That's what he hadn't mislaid his checkbook. Let's see the office. Me. I can't isn't? find my wallet. I'm sure I had in this jacket. Are you certain? Yes, I had it earlier. Did you have it when Seymour came in? Alan, you don't think... He brushed past you, didn't you? I saw mm. it. My God, you don't care, do you? That slander, that is. Well, we don't know anything about him, do we? He already owes rent, and he's borrowed money. Hey, we could search his... He's probably running a Ponzi scheme, bro. Because <laughs> he, keep, he keep talking about investors, and he got he going to get people to invest in the stock, that some miraculous, miraculous stock that he got. It's, he running a Ponzi scheme, bro. <laughs> I've seen it too many times. His room. Oh, we can't do that. No. Why not? He's gone out. Perhaps it would be simpler to call the police. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, no, no, no. I don't, I don't know what the police are around here doing. I don't, I, don't, uh, I don't. Perhaps we could have a quick look. You know, really. <laughs> <laughs> we might be proving his innocence, mightn't we? Come on, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure we should be doing this? Uh, you'll thank me when I've exposed him. He's probably a master criminal. Well, where are we supposed to look, then? Look, look under the bed. You slit the lining out of that. Don't you slit the down again. <laughs> I shall never be able to look him in the face again. <laughs> what are you looking for? A wallet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
don't, 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 don't quite know how to put this uh, scene, Moisey, but th this, this wallet's missing and... And you suspect me? No, 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 See, I don't like that you can fully consent to a search, sir. That don't seem not guilty to me. <laughs> yeah. Now, what about you? Me? Well, you did say everybody was under suspicion. Yes, but... Uh, Good. You don't mind, then? Uh, no. Hello? What's this? Is that what you're looking for? Yes. <laughs> Uh-oh. He's cutting the sleeves off his coat. Oh! <laughs> oh, sorry about that, Seymour. <laughs> I didn't realize you were going to open the door. Come in. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, just getting in a bit of practice. <laughs> oh, I, say, I don't think I'd be critical, but don't you think you'd find it easier if you were to play outside? Uh, yes, I just wanted to iron out a few rough spots first. You know, don't look a complete fool. <laughs> Yeah, what, what, what do you reckon, Lily? What do you think? He's going to break something. He's going to break something. You've got to be careful, Lee. He's a bit the cat twice. <laughs> Mind you, I think I'm improving. I can put seven out of ten into the downstairs lab from the landing. That's very good. Yeah, you've got to watch out for ricochets, of course. <laughs> now I can see you're going to make a very useful addition to our foursome. Uh, I know the mayor is longing to meet you. The mayor? Do you play golf with the mayor? Oh, he's capping. He's capping. He's been capping. <laughs> He's mayor, right. hey, you certainly cracked it, Seymour. You've only been here five minutes playing golf with the mayor, eh? Uh, suppose it was the old school tie, the accent and the tweeds, eh? Uh, you're certainly moving in an exclusive circle now. I am. Um, I suppose they all bared the left breast. I beg your pardon? <laughs> Rolled up the old trouser leg and exchanged the magic word Boaz. <laughs> I see. Yeah. Well, you uh, can't expect me to discuss that, Richard. No, 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 of course not. No, no, no. It, it would be too expensive, this golf, but it... Um, oh, it, you can afford it, Richard. Because yeah. I haven't got all the rent in yet, you know. Just mm, rent? It completely slipped my mind again. Oh, yeah. Here I didn't realise. I, I, uh, I think I was hinting. No, 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 no. Of course not. Here we are, my dear. Oh. Yeah. Right. Uh, uh, I think you'll find that right. Thank, thank you very much. <laughs> Why are you getting this little behind... Why are you putting it in a coin yeah. purse? <laughs> Do you think you're wise carrying all that around with you? Uh, how do you mean? Oh, I was, um, I was thinking of last night's little incident. Oh, no, 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 that was explained. They must have got the jackets mixed up. Uh, you're not suggesting... I don't trust him, Rigsby. There's something about that young man's features. Well, I know his eyes are a bit closer together, but you mean you don't... <laughs> uh, if I were you, Rigsby, far be it from me to cast the first stone, but I would watch your pockets if I were you. Right, thanks very much, Seymour, I will. Right. Uh, right. <laughs> Ain't that so? He's a he's a thief. He's a thief. I knew it. Hey, who? Funny about last night, eh? Oh, what do you mean? Funny about that your wallet getting into his pocket. Eh? I must have got the wrong jacket, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Funny though, eh? Are you suggesting that Alan I mean, should... I'm not suggesting anything. No, no, no. I don't want to cast the first stone. Oh, but you're going to. Yeah, well, it does look suspicious, you must admit. Oh, do you mean like the time your brother was caught with that sports jacket? Oh, no, that was a misunderstanding. He just took it out of the shop to see how it looked in the daylight. <laughs> they picked him up three streets away, Riggs. Well, the light was better there. Wow. Anyway, he might have had a blackout. A mate of mine had one of those, you know. When he came to, he was outside Marks and Spencer's clutching a black chiffon nighty. <laughs> Listen, Rigsby, I share a room with Alan. I've got to know him. I trust him. All right. All I'm saying is I think we ought to keep an eye on him. No, we all. won't, Rigsby. We're going to act as if nothing's happened. We're going to treat him perfectly naturally. After all, he's bound to feel awkward. All right, all right. Credit me with some sensitivity. I, sh I, I shan't say anything. He won't, he won't notice any change in my manner, I promise you. Look at him. You've been talking about me, haven't you? Talking about you? What oh, you doing? yes, you have. You think I had that wallet? You don't no, trust me. Of course we trust, trust you. You know, you're too, you're too sensitive. Trust, we've known you long enough to trust you, haven't we? Do you really? Of course, I trust you with my money and... Here, take my... 
I'm sorry, I don't know what came over and got carried away. I must have dropped it somewhere. Uh, you don't think that really rings, but you think I had it. It's going to be like this all the time. No, I'm no. always going to be under suspicion no, sorry, of Alan. Just... Alan. No, you damn it. Oh, right. I made a mistake. But Alan didn't take yeah. it. All right. And I'll prove it. He did, of course. He's a thief. Oh, oh, no. I don't know why. He's uh, a thief. Uh, nice piece. Yes, yes, Cram Darby. Been in the family for years. Yes, uh, yes. Uh, oh, uh, by the way, I uh, bought their shares for you. They should be through in a few days. Oh, but thanks very much. Lucky you knew about them. I mean, I didn't even know there was oil in the Pennines. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Ponzi scheme, bro, and he's still, he's a thief, man. <laughs> we, uh, we don't want it to get out. Not until we've bought up the issue. Oh, no, no, of course not. Oh, my lips are sealed. <laughs> Good man. Yeah, right. Eric Smith, this is a very well-appointed room. Oh, you think so? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do some more entertaining. Oh. Now you're going up in the world. Have a few people back for drinks. Oh. Ask the mayor. The mayor? Do you think he'd come here? He would if I asked him. Do you think he'd wear his chain? <laughs> I'm sure he would. Come the mayor here for drinks. Eh? Oh, oh, it'd certainly be in the swim then. Oh, accepted at last. Yes, I can just see myself swanning down the golf club in my chunky sweater with my two little matching terriers like bookends. Oh, <laughs> wait till I tell those two. They'll be furious. Oh, no, no, no. Don't say anything to them, Rick Smith. You'll only arouse their envy. It's people like that have been holding you back all these guys. Yeah, you're quite right, is it? They'd only go and spoil it. Probably come down here in the string vests. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's all right, old chap. Don't you worry about a thing. Leave everything in my hands. Right, all right. Cool. Thanks very much, Seymour. Hey. Hey, yes. hey, Vienna, hey. How about that today? Hey. <laughs> Going down to the mayor here. <laughs> so don't go doing anything any dark corners, will <laughs> He's lying, what bro. I'm going to the bathroom. Do you mind? What do you think I'm going to steal the towels? Oh, no, Alan, don't be ridiculous. You're watching me, aren't you? No. Well, yes. I'm worried about you. Worried about your wallet, you mean? No one thinks you had that wallet. I bet you've had your doubts. Trouble is, you won't know now, will you? Alan. <laughs> Alan. I mean, I understand how he feels, though. He gonna try to catch dude. Uh huh. He gonna wait for Seymour to come through. Oh, Rigsby. Oh, Rigsby. <laughs> Found your place yet? No, no, I've looked everywhere, so. What are you waiting here for? Oh, just having a look around, you know. Gonna <laughs> have to do an awful lot of decorating here. Look, look at the ceiling up there. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter, Rick? Oh, sudden spasm. Shrapnel must have moved. <laughs> the shrapnel? was in your chest, Rigsby. Um, uh, when it travels around, you never know what it's going to be. <laughs> Rigsby? Yeah? What's that under your foot? Uh, nothing. <laughs> the yeah. other one, Rigsby. Hey, heavens of five pound note! <laughs> Were you going to keep it? No, I was not. No, I shall have to have to keep this, you know, till it's properly claimed. Uh, well, that won't be necessary. It's mine. Oh, yes, we don't know that. No, I have to keep it till it's, you know, check up on it. Dad, you happen to know the number, of course. That'll be... 437-21896. That boy knows... Yo, he knows the serial number on the dollars in your wallet. <laughs> That's crazy. You don't take any chances, do you? <laughs> what you doing? I put that note down for Alan to find. What for? To prove I could trust him, to prove his honesty. But if you could trust him, why'd you take the number? Just in case someone else picked it up. Uh, uh, and you think he's gonna hand it in? He'd be straight down to the Chinese with that. That's what you think. <laughs> Quick, he's coming. You all right, Seymour? Just getting my breath back, old boy. Touch of the old malaria. Teeth will be going like castanets any minute now. <laughs> well, there's nothing I can do. Oh, I'll be right in a minute, old chap. Look, Seymour, I'm sorry about the other night, you know, jumping to conclusions like that. Don't worry, old boy. All perfectly natural. Well, now they suspect me. I don't know, boy. I can tell by the face. You're a decent type. Anyone can see that. Oh. Oh, thank thanks, Seymour. Is this? Are you sure you're all right? Yes, old boy. Back to you, I 
You sound more cheerful. That's because I am more cheerful. Just had a very nice experience out there. Let's all go down to the Chinese. Oh, God. Hey, no thanks. I've lost my appetite. What'd I say? <laughs> Oh. Be here soon. Everything ready? Yes, I think so. See, I think I've got everything. Uh, sausages on sticks, uh, uh, onion flavoured crisps, various flavoured crisps, uh, mixed nuts, and uh, uh, salmon paste sandwiches. Food for the gods. <laughs> Splendid. What? Just a minute, Brickley. Yeah? We've stepped up. What? No champagne. Sh sh you know, champagne. You never said anything about champagne. You're about to expect champagne. It'll be a disaster. Will it? Yeah, lot for this. I've got a couple of crates of sta stabs now. That will do. You'll have to get some. You oh. leave everything to me. All oh, right, good. Give me 30 pounds. Hey? <laughs> 30 quid? Well, we can't do it for a bit. Yes, but I mean... Be sure you, unless you want to call the whole thing off. No, no, no. Because, no, I'm, just, I'm a bit short, that's all, at the moment. I've, uh, you know, I've been... <laughs> what the...? <laughs> been keeping it in here in view of what's happened, you know. <laughs> I think you're very wise. Yes, sir. Uh, what was it? Uh, 30, yes, say, yes. Uh, 10, 20. Uh, thanks very much indeed. Thank you very much. Well, yeah. okay, let, me, uh, let me help you. All right, thanks very much, Seymour. Yeah. All right. Yeah, thank you. Have you go steal your oh, no, Sam, I don't know what to do without you, Seymour. That's all right, thanks, thanks very much. Uh, <laughs> How? How did he do that? So he's like a pickpocket. Well, if it isn't Seymour Buana, <laughs> is the great white hunter up on yet another safari? What? Oh, yes. Darkest Birmingham. <laughs> white man's grave. <laughs> well, before you go, what about that five pounds you owe me? Oh, yes, of course. That completely slipped my mind. Uh, here you are, old boy. A bit crumpled. Hope you don't mind. Oh, no. No, I don't mind at all, Seymour. It's a lovely five-pound note. Not going, are you? <laughs> Get out of it, you flea-bitten monster! That boy slicked his hair back and everything. I'm not going to give these to the mayor when you've been on them. Oh. <laughs> 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 well, you easy not to know, is he? Hmm, must keep off the salmon paste. <laughs> All right. I wish the real first salmon will start to curl. Oh, there he is. Good evening, Your Worship. Yeah. Oh, Your Worship. Good evening, Your Worship. Good evening, <laughs> <laughs> and good evening you're, what do you want? Hi, Rick. Are having a party? No. What makes you think that? Well, you're not going to eat all this food yourself, are you? Just, just having a few friends. It's a buzz off. Come on. What sort of friends? Uh, very influential friends. As a matter of fact, I've got the mayor coming. The mayor? Yes, he's looking forward to it. Apparently, we all are. We're going to have a civilised evening of wit and good conversation, so sling your rook. Seymour's <laughs> <laughs> invited. See, of course he is. Yes. Party wouldn't be complete without Seymour. Be back any minute. Just gone for the champagne. Yes, well, he won't be coming back. Do you mean he won't be coming back? He's gone. Packed his cases and gone. Gone? What do you mean gone? He's got thirty quid. Hey, where'd you, where'd, where'd you get that? <laughs> Seymour had it. And your purse. What? He got most of the money. Oh no, I'm not Seymour. And he was such a perfect gentleman. Oh, I'm sorry, Rigsby, but there was no country house, no mayor, and no champagne. It was oh a God, scam. The oil in the pen, it was a scam. Never trust anyone again. Well, you can trust us, Rigsby. Shall we start on the grub? I suppose it doesn't worry you that I've just been cut to the quick, does it? Well, life goes on, Rigsby. Where shall we start? Salmon paste the other night. Oh, no. <laughs> I knew, man. I... I knew, see, I knew something was off about him from the beginning. I'm like, here, I heard promise and all this stuff. Sounds like a Ponzi scheme. <laughs> Sounds like some cow. But uh, I appreciate y'all for watching this video. I hope y'all had a great day today. Um, please leave a like if you enjoyed that subscribe button if, you to, if you're new to the channel. Also, don't forget to turn on my post notifications. Um, thank you. Uh, check out my Discord link in the description. Check out my gaming channel. I just dropped a Life is Strange episode, like the end of episode one yesterday. Check it out. Um, but thank you. Um, I'm out. Peace.